ஹாப் ஓனர் ஹாஸ் பைட் இன் தி சந்தா ஆர் இன் எனி லைட் பஜார் எக்கே ஜே ஆட் எனி கே ஓஸ் டைப் ஆஃப் பிளாஸ்டிக் சோ நோ நாட் தர்மோ செட்டிங் பிளாஸ்டிக் பாரிசன் தே ஆர் 3 டைப்ஸ் ஹாப் டவுன் ரைட் லெஃப்ட் not in fear to anyone we are clara we are top on the hour congratulations i want to be a leader Hi Sveros, a pleasant good afternoon to everyone. This is Shravanti Svero studying Senior Inter MEC from Gaulidodi Institution. Last year I am in front of you with the subject Commerce. And this year I am going to deal the same subject Commerce. And today in this session we are going to learn a topic from Commerce. And before entering into the lesson, friends let us learn something about business. As we all know every human being is engaged in certain activity to earn his livelihood. And activities which are intended to earn livelihood are known as economic activities and all this economic activities together constitute business so business is nothing but the state of being busy it is concerned with production distribution and exchange of goods and services there are 6 6.7 billion of us and 4 billion of us live with unemployment and 3 billion of us live with less than 2.50 dollars a day and all of us wants to get ahead in life so each of us have many ideas to to settle in our lives so if you are one of them you will have four options and they are hope for help get a government support get a job and start something for yourself and if you start something for yourself you will become an entrepreneur so entrepreneur is a person who starts business entrepreneurs are the people who have the ability to identify good opportunities and convert them into reality they are the people with required skills and initiative who transform a good business idea into reality and this entrepreneurs will play a key role in the development of any economy because without them the business field will be stagnant and new products and services cannot be thought of so the entrepreneurs play a key role if you see the meaning and definition of an entrepreneur The word entrepreneur has a significant history starting from the language of French. The word entrepreneur is derived from the French word entreprendre which refers to undertake that is an individual who undertake the risk of new enterprise. If we come to the definition of entrepreneur friends according to Adam Smith the father of political economy in his popular book Wealth of Nations explain entrepreneur as an individual who forms an organization for commercial purpose he is a proprietary capitalist a supplier of capital and at the same time a manager who coordinates labor and consumer and friends this entrepreneur has certain characteristics according to professor david c m c clelord of hardware university found that entrepreneurs are doing well if they have the following characteristics and they are innovation risk taking self confidence hard work goal setting accountability leadership and managerial skills so there are 6.9 billion of us and this entrepreneurs will start business with an initiative to change the world and this they'll start business to grow to build to make the world a, in a in a great sense and this entrepreneurs will have opportunities will convert and them into reality and these people will hire another people and they buy products and they buy the customers so that they can change the world and that's the power of entrepreneurship if you see a business grow and they hire people and the power of entrepreneurship will help the people to transform their lives change their communities develop the nation so that the country will be developed and this entrepreneurs had created 432 businesses this year over 3 lakhs this year and 110 million in this present world if you see 
If, if we come to the opportunities provided in the gross sick test, there is only one name on everyone's lips, that is India. India is one of the fastest growing economy in the world, a superpower in making. From this India story, another new story is emerging and that is the state of Telangana, the newly formed 29th state of India. In the heart of Telangana, situated its capital city, Hyderabad, which is the fifth largest metropolitan city in the world. It is the winner of Global Engineering Project for the year 2013. It is the world's largest private partnership project in the world. And according to Mercer's Quality Report, it reports that Hyderabad is the best livable cities globally. In aerospace, the Rajiv Gandhi International Airport is termed as the best airport by international bodies. So today, Hyderabad is the fifth largest state with all the entrepreneurial opportunities. Telangana with an urban population of 42 persons is the world's best investment destination. And the government of Telangana has provided a half free and gracile free environment to make entrepreneurial opportunities in the state. The self-certification system is available to make the Telangana a dream business hub. So, it initiated a new industrial policy and the industrial policy of Telangana is introduced by Honorable Chief Minister of the State, Sri K. Chandrasekhar Rao Garu and Honorable Chief Minister at the inauguration of Industrial Policy of Telangana. In fact, the Industrial Policy of Telangana explicitly highlights the guidelines to easy setup of industries in which the entrepreneurial with timely clearances are with fair transparent approval process and Telangana is termed as the IT hub of India and also a pioneer in e-governance of project sectors. In fact, Telangana also built some of the world's best educational institutions like Indian Institute, National Institute of Information Technology, Indian School of Business, Nalsar University of Law and Usmania University, etc. So, the industrial policy of Telangana explicitly highlights and provides a graft-free environment to all the entrepreneurs. So, the topic today we have concerned is about entrepreneurial opportunities in Telangana state. If you see the opportunities provided the government, the first opportunity is about the online and help desk grievance system. According to this, friends, the government is providing an online and help desk grievance redressal system. From this, the entrepreneur is encouraged to report any of the instances from the, from the corruption of delays in performing timely risks by the Telangana State Departments. Friends, if you come to the next opportunity, it's about minimum inspection system. Under this, every companies are inspected three-fourths of the year and the cycle of inspections to be fixed in advance. Friends, if we come to the next opportunity provided by the government, it's about e-helpline facilities. And e-helpline facilities are nothing but electronic helpline facilities. Under this, the self-certification will be encouraged and automatic renewals are implemented by e-helpline facilities with physical help desk at Hyderabad and also other districts. If you see the next opportunity, it's about single window clearance. See, the government reduced Telangana State Industrial Project Approval and Self-Certification System, which is termed as TSI Pass. Under this, whereby a single right, a right to single window clearance on the lines of the right to information will be bestowed to all the applicants. If we come to the next opportunity, it's about the 14 sectors. The Telangana state have recognized 14 sectors as the trustworthy sectors in which the investment should be laid. And the first sector in which the government has decided is about life sciences. This life sciences includes bulk drugs, formulations, vaccines, nutrasensials, biological and research and development services. If you see the next sector, it's about IT and hardware. And this sector includes medical devices, medical devices, electronics and cellular communications. And the third sector is about precision engineering. And this sector includes aviation, aerospace and defense. And the fourth sector, the trustworthy sector includes the food processing. And this food processing also includes nutritious including products like dairy, poultry, meat and fisheries. Friends, if you see the next sector, it's about automobiles. 
and this automobiles includes the transparent transport vehicles, auto components, tractors and farm equipment. And the sixth sector which the government have recognized is about textiles and apparel. And this the textiles and apparel includes about leather and leather value added products. Friends, if you see the next sector, it's about plastics and polymers. And this plastics and polymers includes glass and ceramics and petrol chemicals and petrochemicals. The next sector is about FMCG and domestic appliances. Here friends, FMCG is nothing but fast moving consumer products or goods. And this includes FMG, FMCG and domestic appliances. And the next sector is about engineering and capital goods. Another sector is about gems and jewellery. The next sector consists of waste management and green technologies. The next here comes the sector of solar and renewable energy. The sector of transport and logistics. It also includes inland port, container depot, etc. So friends, these are the 14 sectors which the government has recognized as a trustworthy sectors. Friends, if you see the next opportunities provided by the government, it's about industrial parks. Here, the government is providing industrial parks which are developed with anchor units. And the plots are also made available for setting up suppliers vendors park. The next opportunity which is provided is about the corpus fund, the funding system. The government intends to create corpus fund jointly with industries and their associations which act as a safety net to small medium enterprises to run the risk of imminent sickness. If you see the next opportunity, it's about women entrepreneurship. Women are in every field today. Yes, yes, women are in every field today. And to develop them in, in the field of entrepreneurship, the government have took an initiation of women entrepreneurship. Under this, excluding Hyderabad, all the other nine districts will have one or more than one industrial parks exclusively for women. And also the organizations which are working for women are invited to partner with government to identify and train women entrepreneurs so that they may be self-employed. Friends, if you come to the next opportunity, it's about special support. The government is taking a special support is given to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe entrepreneurs and is offering through the Telangana State Program for Rapid Incubation of Dalit Entrepreneurs and which is termed as TS Pride. Under this, there is a preferential allotment of plots in industrial parks with a reservation of 22% of land in industrial estates. And it also provides a service of organizing intensive entrepreneur and skill development program because skills are the important factors to an entrepreneur. And the activity of representation in all the districts and state level committees. It also takes up the activity like organizations like DICI, which is termed as Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry is also involving in planning, implementing and monitoring special programs for SCs and STs. See here is the logo of DICI which is Dalit Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Recently our Chief Minister also attended the DICI camp which inaugurated the portal with the collaboration of Srimati Nirmala Sitaramangaru, the, in, the Minister for Industries and Commerce. If we come to the next opportunity, it's about the traditional arts and handicrafts. The government, to, in order to improve the productivity and income of traditional arts and handicrafts, is providing a various programs under Telangana State Handicrafts and Artisans Revival with Technology Program, which is termed as t -Hard. And this takes up the activities of cluster approach of specific arts and crafts. And also, identification and documentation of arts and crafts. They include the activities of technology upgradation and design support center. And this takes up the activity of skill upgradation and quality improvement in the arts and handicrafts. And also a common facility centers. It takes up the activity of registration support. And the T-Heart also takes the activity of marketing assistance and marketing events participation. Under this tea heart, the arts and handicrafts consist of nirmal paintings and they also include dogra metal work and bidriware. 
and this handicrafts and arts also include the pemberthi brassware it also adds the varangal carpets and lastly it has a textiles like pochampalli iktat and gadwal sarees see friends these are the art art and handicraft which are recognized by government to in order to make them developed in all the regions and the next opportunity it's about budget it's a very important factor the government will ha- will promote and participation of telangana small scale medium enterprises in trade fairs exposition buyer seller meets and other services and there are adequate budget facilities and support is provided for marketing the state and industrial craft products see friends if it comes to the next opportunity it's about the land facility in telangana state about 20 lakh acres of land is identified as unfit for cultivation in telangana according to the business concept land cannot be kept idle so the telangana state in order to convert them into industrial parks has transferred the 20 lakh acres of land to telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation for establishing industrial parks see friends if we come to the next opportunity it's about infrastructural facilities an enterprise will be developed only by the sufficient of infrastructural facilities if you see the facilities and they are the tsiic the telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation develops all the required infrastructure in the industrial parks and they include approach roads water supply industrial tower and common effluent treatment man, man, treatment facilities and thereby the investor can begin as soon as the sanction letter is get, get, get in by him if we come to the next opportunity friends it's about the water facility water is the important factor in the production process so the government of telangana will earmark 10% of water from all the existing and new irrigation sources for industrial use water pipelines are laid down as a part of infrastructure creation for each industrial park by telangana state industrial infrastructure corporation see friends the opportunities are many and if we come to the next opportunity it's about statutory clearances the tsiic is made responsible for obtaining all the basic statutory clearances for the industrial parks from the appropriate authorities like land conversion land use layout approval and environmental clearance from the ministry of environment and forest government of india so that the industrial units need not obtain any individual clearances if you see the next opportunity it's about the details of land the entrepreneurs are known the details of land by the industrial parks are made available on the website of tsiic and the department of industry and commerce and according to this all the required information like distance of industrial park from nearest highway or railway station and airport town and size of industrial individual plots and photographs of lands and google maps are made available in the website of tsiic if we come to the next opportunity it's about the allotment process till now we have learned we have learned about the land facility now we are going to learn about the allotment process of this land the entrepreneurial focus the ent- empowered bodies namely state industrial promotion committee and the state level allotment committee and the tsiic these three empowered bodies will manage the land allotment process in a transparent and objective manner for large projects and all the applicants for micro small and medium enterprises for land allotment are handled by district industrial promotion committee headed by the respective district collector if we come to the next opportunity it's about the common facilities every industrial park will have some common facilities if we come to that every industrial park will have the plots earmarked for common facilities like electricity substations police outposts fire stations e seva centers banks petrol stations canteens and local shopping etc and these common facilities are allotted to government agencies or private parties in an objective and transparent manner if we come to the next opportunity friends it's about the price of land it is also the important factor to an entrepreneur to decide to start the enterprise or not so the price fixation committee of tsiic determines the price of land available in industrial parks and this the final price of the land includes the prevailing land price 
in that area as ascertained from the registration records and the cost incurred in land development and infrastructure creation and the nominal administrative charges. The information is displayed on the website and have validity for a specific period of time and get revised periodically so that it can get the current rate of the land. If it rents, if we come to the next opportunity, it's about the developing skills. An entrepreneur should have a respective developing skills to start a new enterprise and to innovate new products. So, in order to that, the skill development program which are aimed to train the youth entrepreneurs are undertaken by Telangana State Accelerated Small Scale Industry Skills Training Center of the Industries and Commerce Department. If we come to the next opportunity, it is about the industrial corridors. See friends, industrial corridors are the geographical locations in which in are intended to earn the industrial development. So, the industrial corridors or national and state highways are developed to spark industrial activities in the corridor in two phases. And they include the first phase is from Hyderabad to Warangal and the, sec and the second is about Hyderabad to Nagpur and the third one is Hyderabad to Bangalore. In the second phase, the government has made a proposal to create another three corridors from Hyderabad to Manchirial and Hyderabad to Nalgonda and Hyderabad to Kamma. So friends, these are the opportunities which are provided by the government of Telangana to all the entrepreneurs. And if you come to the next opportunity, it is about the incentive offered to entrepreneurs. See friends, the Telangana State Industrial Development and Advancement Incentive Scheme is offered by the state government and it takes up the activities of stamp duty reimbursement and also land cost rebate. And the next incentive is about the power cost reimbursement and value added tax reimbursement. And the next incentive is about investment and interest subsidy. Another thing is of training and skill development cost reimbursement. And the next one is about the Telangana state has providing many opportunities to all the sectors to develop in industrially and also to make the entrepreneurs to fulfill their aspirations. So, as a result, the government has took these opportunities to, uh, to develop the entrepreneurs and the state. So, the government of Telangana is taking a lot of initiation to in order to develop all these things. And it also made a sub plan, an SC sub plan in the, in the year of 2014. After the formation of Telangana state on 2nd June 2014, it has made all the uh, sub plan called SC sub plan. And in, in order to develop the development of population of SCs which constitute over 15.44 of the total population of the Telangana state. So, the government has took initiation to develop all the schemes. So, it has introduced a new industrial policy and also it offered a land and many allotment to all the sectors. It has made a financial allocation to different sectors like 38 sectors in that our Telangana Social Welfare Residential Institution Society is one of them. Under this SC sub plan, it renamed the Social Welfare Department as the SC Development Program and it allotted 38.4486.75 lakh acres lakhs of financial allotment to this sector. So, we the students and Swero studying in this Telangana industry, Telangana social welfare institutions should study a well and become an entrepreneur in your life and become successful. So, that the Telangana state is offering all these things. The government of Telangana has in introduced this industrial policy in order to develop the entrepreneurs. So, the opportunities provided, you should utilize all the opportunities. The entrepreneurs are made to fulfill their aspirations which of being self-employed. So, if we come, if we summarize all the opportunities provided the government, it is all about different sectors in which all the development sectors are laid. If we come one by one, they, they include all the facilities like minimum inspection system, online help desk grievance system and e-helpline facilities, single window clearance and including 14 sectors in which all the trustworthy sectors, the investment should be laid like life sciences, IT and hardware, transport and, uh, and aviation, precision engineering, food processing, automobiles, textiles and apparel, plastic, plastics and polymers, water facilities, 
FMCG and domestic appliances and trans engineering and capital goods, gems and jewelries, waste management and also green technologies and also includes solar and renewable energy parks, the transport and logistics, these are the 14 sectors. It also introduced an anchor units and allotment of plots. They also had the funding system and the opportunities include the women entrepreneurship. It also has the special support to SCs and STs. Under this, there are several activities taken up by the DICI. And also, it has an opportunity of to improve the Telangana state arts and handicrafts. It has the opportunity of traditional arts and handicrafts including Nirmal paintings, Gadwal saris, Dokra metalwork and, and Pambati brassware and all the sectors. It also has the Varangal carpets and the Gadwal saris. So, the topic today we have concerned is about entrepreneurial opportunities in Telangana state. The topic is about entrepreneurial opportunities in Telangana state. See friends, these are the opportunities which we have learned in which the, the, the state is offering to all the entrepreneurs. This includes many opportunities like, like a priority giving sectors and giving all the minimum facilities like minimum inspection, minimum inspection policy and making all the sectors to budget allocation, land facilities, water facilities and investment in the, in the, in the infrastructural facilities and it is about water facility and all the statutory clearances and the skill development program, details of land in websites and also the allotment process of lands and the common facilities included to all the industrial parks, the price of land which is made available on the website of TSIIC and developing skills in the entrepreneurs by organizing many programs for skill development and industrial corridors with two phases in which it connects the highways from Hyderabad to different industrial locations and also the intensives which is provided to all the entrepreneurs so that they will get an inspiring and also uh, encouragement to start up a new enterprise. So friends, these opportunities, we should, we should know the opportunities which are provided the state government to all the entrepreneurs. And if you see, there are another different financial lo uh, locations and also the financial allotment of two different sectors and they includes all the agricultural sectors and industries and also the education institutions which concerned with primary and higher education systems. And under this education system, our society of Telangana social welfare residential education institutions have get a financial allotment of 38.448.75 lakhs of financial allotment to our sector. And our social welfare department is renamed as SC Development Program. So friends, as a Swero, we are studying in this social welfare institutions should get an inspiring and also encouragement from all these opportunities. And we should use all these opportunities provided by the government and should be in successful in our lives. And you can also become an outstanding entrepreneur. For that, the, and the state of Telangana is providing different opportunities in different categories to all the entrepreneurs of different categories and it, it is also giving many infrastructural facilities to all the entrepreneurs to give them aspiration and inspiration to become a self-employed persons in their lives. So we, Telangana state is with 42 percent of urban population is taking up all the necessary steps to develop the state. And we, if we will become the entrepreneurs, we may develop our state. And this includes many of the skills. So we should have the skills of entrepreneurship and required skills to make and develop our state a prosperous one. And if you see around the world, when it comes to the opportunities in gross sectors, it includes only one name on everyone's lip and that is India. And from that India, it is of only the state of Telangana which is known as the IT hub of India. Telangana with an urban population of 42 percent is the worst, world's best educational and institutions which have the friendly investment destination. It also initiated a new industrial policy and this industrial policy includes all the facilities